On the night of the 3rd of April 1912, the Titanic arrived at berth 43 and 44 after travelling a 28-hour journey from Belfast to Southampton. She laid at the berth for six days as her crew had come aboard and she would have supplies loaded inside her freezers and coolers on G-Deck. However, there had been a few problems including technical faults, unfinished staterooms and a shuffle in her crew following the sudden arrival of Chief Officer Henry T. Wilde. On the 10th of April, the Titanic began her first load of passengers on board and by midday she was ready to set sail. As she steamed past berth 38 and turned out towards the River Test, the Titanic's propellers, in fact a poor engine according to 2nd Officer Charles Lightoller, had created a giant suction in between the quarry and the liner. The suction was so intense that a steamer called the SS New York was tied up to the quarry side along with another White Star liner, the RMS Oceanic. At the moment of the Titanic's departure, the SS New York's cables flung themselves into the air. Soon, the crowd ceased their cheers and began screaming when they had become witnesses to the near collision. There were some reports that the broken cables had created a strong vibration on the stump deck which knocked people to the ground. And at the same time, the propellers also swung the Oceanic and the SS New York had bumped into the Oceanic, dissolving her gangway. Suddenly, both the New York and the Oceanic were drifting towards the Titanic. However, the Titanic's crew acted immediately when Captain Edward J. Smith and pilot George Boer gave the order to stop the engines and lower the ship's anchor. Once the port engine had stopped, the water washed the New York away. At the same time, the crew of the tugboat Falcon sprung into action and according to Captain Gale, the crew of the Falcon fetched a second cable and got hold of the New York when she was four feet away from the Titanic. The tugboat then made a manoeuvre and caught the SS New York's bows and with another boat, the Hercules, the New York was safely back to the quarry side without a single scratch. This rare picture was taken from the Titanic by Father Francis Brown. Following the incident, the Titanic continued her journey and despite running behind schedule, she arrived in Cherbourg and Queenstown the following day without a single incident, except for one that would lead her to her demise days later.